Hi friends, how are you all? All good? Are you feeling energetic? Very good. So today I'm here to teach you, entertain you and we'll have a lots of fun together. Are you ready? Come on, let's start the chapter. So what is the chapter's name? Animal Senses. Do you know how animals feel things? Like how do they hear, how do they see or how do they smell? No? So let's see how they, how they do that. So what do you mean by senses? Senses allow us to observe and understand things around us. Okay? And how many senses do we have? How many senses? How many sense organs we have? Five? Four? Let's see. We have five senses. We have five senses and five sense organs also. So let's see. The first one is eyes. With eyes, we see things. Second one is ears. With ears, we hear things. Third is our hand or fingers. With that, we touch things. And this is nose. With nose, we smell things. And finally, with tongue and mouth, we taste things. Okay, so these are our five senses. Sight, hearing, touch, smell and taste. Okay. Now, do all animals see, hear, smell, taste and touch as we do? Yes? Yes or no? Let's see the answer. It's a no. They cannot. So the first one that we are going to learn is sense of sight. How do we see things with our eyes? So the sense of sight is the ability to see things around us. Ability of the eyes to see things around us. Animals usually cannot see all the colors as we do. But cats and dogs can see colors like blue and green. So this is a fun fact. Did you know that owls can see a mouse which is 150 feet away from the owl in a very dark light in a, in, in only with a light no brighter than a candle? Do you know that? The owl's eyes are very powerful. They can see a tiny, tiny mouse which is 150 feet away from it in a dark, dim light. Hmm? So the next one is the sense of hearing. How do we hear things with our ears? We hear things with our ears. So hearing is the ability to detect sounds around us, to detect sounds. So animals often have an incredibly good hearing. But not all of them use their ears to hear. Okay, there, there are even animals that don't have, have ears, but they can still hear. Okay, so let's see. Who is this? Oh, this is a cute elephant, right? He has huge ears. Okay, so we'll now learn something fun about this animal. As well as having brilliant hearing, elephants also use its ears to, to keep themselves cool, to keep them themselves cool, they use these ears, not only for hearing. See how cute it is? Next, did you know that dolphins has the best sense of hearing among animals and they can hear 14 times better than humans. How many times? 14 times, okay? Cats and dogs can also hear very low sounds, which we cannot hear. They can hear even the tiniest of sounds. Next is sense of smell. How do we smell things through our nose? Okay. Smell is a sense by which we take in sense or in or an order through the nose. We take in sense through our nose. So, 
animals use smells to talk to each other and to protect themselves from enemies say so we for us we smell things for like food like flowers but for them they they talk to each other through their smell and to protect themselves from the enemy the organ they use to smell can differ from one animal to the another did you know something that some animals like tiger okay they, they will release a unique smell or a unique scent to prove that it is their territory okay no other animal should come near them hen do you know this animal it is called the skunk it is very cute okay so animals like skunks they shoot out stinky smells to protect themselves from the predators okay to protect themselves they use some stinky smells next is insects insects can also smell through their antennas through their antennas they smell things and they use antenna to find food and detect enemies next is the sense of taste how do we taste things through our tongue through our tongue so what is taste it is a sensation that a human or an animal experience on the tongue when eating we experience something on our tongue while we eat food so animals use their tongues in many different ways okay and for many different uses they actually use tongue not only for having food but they also use for many other reasons like cats use their tongue for cleaning themselves they may also have more than one tongue see Did you know that a snake smells with its tongue? A snake can smell with its tongue. See, it has two tongues going out like this. A fly tastes its dinner by walking on it. Can you imagine walking on your food and tasting it? No, but a fly does that and a snake smells with its tongue. next is the sense of touch sense of touch so touch is being able to tell that we are connected to something else that your skin is connected to something else that is the sense of touch animals use their skin but not just for touching things not like us they use for many other reasons their skin has a variety of uses Did you know that frogs take in air through their moist skin? Through their moist skin, they take up air. And also, I have seen this animal. It is chameleon. It is chameleon. It can change their color to match their surroundings. Okay, they can change their colors and making it hard for other animals to identify them. So they can change their colors according to their surroundings. so different animals possess different senses that are unique to their needs so finally we are going to recap what we had learned today we had learned the five senses and the five sense organs which includes eyes for sight ears for hearing fingers hands and skin to touch nose to smell mouth and tongue to taste so That's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed it. Stay home, stay safe. See you soon. Bye.